ugly. Five. 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 Who are the best and who are the worst NFL teams? It's Mike Gill's Fine Five and Ugly Five on 97.3 ESPN FM, South Jersey's football station. Time for the Fine Five and the Ugly Five. It is brought to you by Miller Lite, the original light beer brew to have more taste with only 96 calories. Hold true. Fine Five, Ugly Five. These are the five best and five worst teams as selected by our panel of imbeciles. <laughs> I've been called worse. I like yes, it. I know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go with the Ugly Five first and see what we have. Josh, who's the wor- the fifth worst team in the league? All right, my fifth worst team is the Giants. I am bailing 110% on this team. I'm, the only reason why they're not higher on the list is just because they still have some talent. They can put up points. But at the end of the day, the way they have lost now these four games, it's been different each and every game. It's almost like they're creating ways to lose, guys. You kidding me? <laughs> Mine are the Jaguars. Listen, every time this team gets some type of momentum, they go and squander it. They played the Jets. The Jets and the Jets tried to lose. They're trying to lose. And they still couldn't win. They're the Jaguars. The Jaguars, the Jaguars, whatever you want to call them. I I feel sorry because there's so much talent on that team, especially that defense. And they, yeah. 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 Yeah, They lost to the Jets. (laughs) Uh, I got the Giants, too. I don't think they're fifth worst talent in the league. No. But, hey, they're I said playing the fifth worst. I said coming into the season, I thought their defense would take a step back. I didn't think their defense was as good as it was last year. Even though I picked them to win the division, I thought their defense would be better. It's not nearly as good as it was last year. Their offensive line is atrocious. They've got no running game. I mean, realistically, this team is Odell Beckham. What's and like a less lesser Eli Manning. That's not a very good football team, guys. <laughs> uh, number four, Deshaun. Number four, I have the Los Angeles Chargers. Uh, this team is just going nowhere. Phillip Rivers, again, he made some plays, but he just looks old. Every time I watch him, he's, he's just not that young, accurate Phillip Rivers that I used to see going to championship games and playoff runs. Uh, Anthony Lynn looks in over his head. This team is just one of the worst teams in the league. Going nowhere fast. Chargers, number four. We all stunk. Uh, actually, <laughs> the only reason why the Chargers aren't on my list because you know the Chargers have scored more points in this season than any team on They're my list? They're four. They've still scored points. That's half the way of winning in this league. My number four team is a team that I cannot stand watching anymore, and I feel like they are the worst team to watch in the NFL at this point. It is the Miami Dolphins. Ooh. This offense is putrid. They Jay are pretty Cutler, bad, man. Jay yeah. Cutler is the embodiment of whatever they have those like HR classes of how not to work at the workplace. Jay Cutler is like the is like the uh, the model showing you what not to do. And Adam Gay said it last week. He said this offense has been playing horrible. Well, Adam Gay, aren't you an offensive genius? That's your fault. Still I've been here a long available. time, and I've had good players. <laughs> so that's the formula. Good players. They don't have them. Uh, number four for me is the Colts. You were in that game last week. You had a shot in that game last week. And somehow when I turned it back on, you were down by 30. <laughs> they got... This team is the epitome of putting all your eggs in one basket. Yeah. They have put all their money into luck, and he can't stay healthy, and they've given him nothing else to try to help that guy out, and this is what you're getting now. They didn't bring in an experienced backup quarterback to start the year. So they had the trade for one. And then they had a trade for a kid who's actually playing halfway decent, although they only put up 18 points last week. But that being said, they're a mess on defense, too. This Colts team's pretty bad. I'm interested to see if they end up bringing Luck back. I think you got to put him on the field if he's healthy. You can't just have him sit there. I'm if he's telling healthy you, enough to play. I think they're going to target October 22nd, that home game versus the Jaguars. Hopefully they're still in some type of race. Uh, question. My number three team is the Bears. The Bears look terrible on that Thursday night, but listen, they're making a quarterback change. That's why they're at number three. 
Mike Glennon isn't playing football and my eyes feel great. Mitch Trubisky's going to bring some hope for about a week or two, and then they're going to stink again. So, alas, the Bears are number three. Bears are my number three team as well, but they're not three for the same reason as yours. Only the Bears would sacrifice their rookie quarterback at the altar of the Vikings defense. The <laughs> Vikings defense that held the Lions to 14 points. The Vikings defense that made Jameis Winston look like a goon. This is a horrible idea. I can see Trubisky throwing at least one interception in this game because he's just inexperienced. Why can't you let him play a, at least a mediocre defense, not the Vikings defense? The Bears are dumb, and that's why they're at number three. <laughs> I have the Bears at number three, too, but I think this is a good time to put Trubisky in there. They played on Thursday night. It gives him an extended chance to get ready for this game. You can't just pick and choose which defense you want to face them. <laughs> they're all NFL defenses. He's got to get thrown into the fire at some point. Give him the extra couple days to get ready for this game. Look, Glennon's not the answer. And you got to find out if this kid is the answer. I could see if it was 1995 and teams weren't doing this. Every team is playing their guy. And if you find out he's not ready, what do they do? They move on to the next one. I'm not saying right or wrong, but they're not making an egregious mistake here by putting probably the more talented quarterback. What a thought. The more talented guy is actually going to play <laughs> for the Bears. They're number three. Number two on the list, I'm going with... Sam Fran Cisco. And you know what? I feel bad about it because they do play hard. They just have Zippo talent. And when your quarterback's Brian Hoyer, that's what lands you number two on the list. <laughs> I got the number two as well. They got no offense. Straight up. Simple. I have the Giants at number two. Mm. The Giants just find ways to lose games. Are you I just are you just that exasperated with the Giants? No, I just feel like that bad teams find a way to lose games, and they're a bad team, and they find a way to lose games every single week. So you're saying they're the worst. They're worse than all the other teams we mentioned. I'm saying that they're my number two team. Are you going to put words in my mouth, Josh? Is that I'm, what we're I'm, doing? I'm just trying to clarify. They are my number two team, Josh. 0-4, Giants, they're there. How about them, Cowboys? Yeah! <laughs> uh, number one, <laughs> Cleveland. Cleveland. Enough said. Yeah, Cleveland. All right, let's go to the fine five here. These are the five best teams. I'll tell you what, this list is really hard. Did you guys have a tough time finding the five best teams? There's like the one best team and then everybody else. There's like a group of like eight of you of them that are two through five. So I'm really interested to see which of these eight to ten teams you guys decided to go with. Number five, Josh, who do you got? I decided to settle on the Denver Broncos because I think the Broncos defense doesn't get enough credit I think that defense has a chance to carry them this season. And I think that you look at the way the league is going right now. Derek Carr has been injured. Mariota's been injured. The, listen, until Trevor Simeon gets injured and they no longer can score points, I'll, I'll stick with the Broncos as a legitimate playoff contender. My number five team is the Los Angeles Rams. This team with under Sean McVay. I love Sean McVay. I love, I love the coaching style. I love how he's rejuvenated Todd Gurley. He's had Jared Goff looking pretty good. This defense still needs some work, but I think that Wade Phillips will get it together. I got the Rams at five. Uh, I went with New England. I know they're struggling. I know their defense is awful, but when push comes to shove, they're going to be on this list at the end of the year. There's not five better teams in New England in this league when push comes to shove. So I got New England at number five. Uh, number four, I went with Denver. I agree. Their defense is legit. And Simeon is not given enough credit. That kid can play, man. He can play. He's in the stew pot with everybody else. He's in there with Cousins. He's in there with Alex Smith. He's in there with all of these guys who win and have done well. Simeon wins. He's in there. He's number four. Number four, I have the Eagles. I love that this team is finding ways to win games. Despite all the fourth quarter meltdown stuff, Carson Wentz looks far better than he did last year. They're running the football. That's the big thing. They are running the football. Six minutes, you close out the game, you're in my fine five. Eagles, four. My four team is there for a similar reason. I have the Steelers at four because the passing game can look ugly, they run the ball. The running game looks ugly, they pass the ball. The offense looks like garbage, and then they play defense. 
The team is finding ways to win. I got to give them credit. But let me tell you something. They might not stay in my fine five long if they're going to keep playing as atrocious as they are at times. Well, guess what? All these teams. I mean, last week in the fine five, Tennessee was in. Dallas was in. They're all out. It seems the teams are changing around weekly here in the fine five. But number three, I had a team that lost last week as my number three team, Atlanta. And you know, it pains me to do that. I just don't know which teams are... I can't figure out which of the five best teams right now. <laughs> so I'm going to give Atlanta the benefit of the doubt that they're 3-1. They're and one. They're three still uh, the uh, NFC champion. So I'm going to stick with them for another week there. So uh, last week I had Atlanta 2. I dropped them down to 3 this week in the Fine Five. Number three, I have the Carolina Panthers. When you uh, Listen, when you beat the Patriots in New England, I don't care what New England team it is. New England is New England with Brady playing. Went with the Panthers. The Panthers. Cam Newton looks like he's back. Eagles play them Thursday night. It's going to be a good game. Right now, Panthers at three. My number three team is the Packers. Aaron Rodgers is just that good. And even when Mr. Demarius Randall decides to have a hissy fit, storm <laughs> off the field, leave the stadium... They still have a pretty good defense. I'm surprised at the Packers' defense. I am really impressed that this defense has come around. And let me tell you something. That Kevin King, he's a pretty good cornerback. Okay. That uh, Washington team's putting all sorts of guys in the league. And by the way, that Washington team's better than you were giving them credit for at the beginning of the year. Ah, so you're carry- ripping, the, <laughs> ripping the people for having them ranked in the top ten. That's not going to carry it away now. Uh, when, they, when, they, when they play Wazoo, they're going to get crushed. Side note, Bryce Treggs did uh, kind of work Kevin King in the preseason. He's a Brown. <laughs> That's uh, saying nothing. N- number two. <laughs> I got the Steelers at two. I mean, again, I don't know that two, three, four, and five are definitive. I think there's just a bunch of teams that are in this conversation. For this week, they dominated Baltimore. When you dominate a division team like that, I'll give you the number two spot in the fine five. My number two team, and they might not ever be number two the rest of the season, <laughs> the Buffalo Bills. Nobody circles the wagons like the Buffalo Bills. You go and beat the defending NFC champions in their home field. Tyrod Taylor looks like a quarterback that can just get the job done for them. Their defense looks amazing. Sean McDermott, Leslie Frazier, going to give credit where credit is due. Buffalo Bills, number two. My number two team is the Falcons. Let's remember they did lose because they didn't have Julio Jones. They didn't have Mohamed Sanu. They weren't winning with those guys. At least they could have had a chance to win with them. I think the biggest problem with the Falcons, actually, is their offensive coordinator. Steve Sarkeesian is still trying to call games like it's college. (laughs) Bro, Taylor Gabriel ain't going to help you stretch the field that much. All right? I think Steve Sarkeesian is slowly learning the NFL. And I think... That's one of the reasons why the Falcons will not get near the points they scored last year. But this is still a formidable team. Try saying that three times. Steve Stark. All right, number one at the top of the list, Kansas City. Yeah, how about, Kansas how about City. them Kansas City Chiefs? You finally got them at one? Of course I do. Respect. There you go. Finally. Number one, the KC Chiefs. Number one in your hearts. Number one in your program. That's where they are. Number one, Kansas City in the fine five. Number one, Cleveland. Unanimous in the Ugly Five. That's your fine five and ugly five, the five best, five worst teams in the NFL. It's brought to you by Miller Lite, the original light beer brewed to have more taste with only 96 calories. Hold true.